whatever faith is it's supposed to be a lifestyle not an event the righteous shall live by faith in other words whatever faith is is how you should roll faith is not a concept you visit it's a lifestyle you possess if you're not living by faith it's because you're not yet righteous and the righteous who learn to live by whatever faith is get to experience God in action You get to experience God fulfilling his word. Faith then must have substance. It must have some stuff that you can rely on. Faith is only as meaningful as the substance to which it is attached. If you've got faith in bad substance, then your faith will be insufficient no matter how much of it you possess because the substance you're placing it in is much. A little faith in significant substance produces great results a lot of faith in insufficient substance will produce no results because what makes faith faith is the substance to which it is attached so to understand faith, you have to look at the substance of things hoped for that is what the object is. Who is the subject calling for the faith? It's God. When you don't exercise faith, you are challenging God's integrity. To not live by faith is to call God a liar. Faith is simply acting like God is telling the truth. Unless it has hit your feet, it's not faith. It's intellectual accent to a concept that hasn't gotten mixed with action, therefore nothing concrete has shown up in the life. If you want a concrete manifestation of God, then what you believe about God must be married to what you do in light of that belief. Now you're exercising faith so that God can now become concrete in your life and not a theory in your head. God is real. God has power. God makes promises. But you won't see it until he sees motion. If there is no motion, it lies dormant, although it's really there.